I just went ahead and got this gigantic log up on the mill with the tractor. Milk snake just came out of the end of the tree. But I'm just not the best person to do all of that. So it was super, super caked on. It didn't look the best. And we finally decided that I wanted to start planning a wedding. This is probably one of the worst things we've had to do. I hate it. Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life. I want to make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. What's up guys? I am back over here at the sawmill today and we're gonna try and bust out the rest of these posts for our fence. Summer is down at the house right now working on mudding and taping some drywall. So I figure while she does that, I might as well start working on this. Also, if you remember, we had issues with the sawmill. So I was Man, I swear, nobody ever tells you whenever you buy a sawmill, you're gonna be working on it more than you're actually gonna be using it. So I basically got two more slabs cut after the 11 posts that I had already made and I'm having an issue with my blade on the mill just kind of climbing up. I literally just changed it before I started cutting this log and the first few cuts were fine and then it just kept getting worse and worse and started wanting to climb. So I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on with this thing before I can get back to cutting, unfortunately. So I was able to get it fixed. I had an issue with the guide blocks or the guide bearings getting uh, pushed into a different position. So it was affecting the way that it was cutting. I made some modifications to it, replaced all the bearings on it and got it adjusted properly. And now it is back to cutting perfectly straight and smooth every time. So I just went ahead and got this gigantic log up on the mill with the tractor and now I'm ready to start cutting. Not sure if you could tell or not, but the, at the end of that last cut, a freaking milk snake just came out of the end of the tree. I don't know how we got in there. I don't know where it came from. I literally cut the end off the log before I started milling it. It was solid on the end. Yeah, I don't know, crazy, but yeah. That's where he came out of right there. Almost cut him in half. And then he slithered on into my wood pile right there. Guess I'm not walking over there anymore.
watched our live the other night, you know that we are redoing the drywall in our front living room windows. Cody started it and then I just finished it. The reason we're doing this is because it was super caked on when we put it back on and that was my fault. I'm just not the best person to do drywall and spackle and all of that or whatever you call it. I don't even remember what you call it, but I'm just not the best person to do all of that. So. It was super, super caked on, it didn't look the best, and we ended up having one extra big piece of drywall left over, so we figured we would put it to good use and redo the window frames. So that is on, and we ended up also adding shims in that process, because with the steel tubing, it was kind of a little bit slanted. So adding shims really just leveled it all out, and so it looks really nice and good. And so now that it is all nice and leveled, we are ready to start the whole mud and tape process. All right, so I got the entire log cut into these slabs. Now I'm gonna start flipping the slabs up upright and start cutting them into posts. Now that I have all the posts finished, it's time to get back to working on this fence, but I still have to clear a lot of this stuff right here behind me. We got one side of the fence completely done, but before I can lay out the rest of where the fence is gonna go and get it all squared out and everything, all this stuff's in my way, so I'm gonna have to get rid of it. I guess let's start working on that. All right, so I finished getting everything cleared over here in this corner. Now I'm gonna start measuring everything, get some corner posts in the ground, and then start marking everything with spray paint and some lines.
whole lot later now. So much stuff has happened. I finally decided that I wanted to start planning a wedding. So that has taken up so much of my time and I've gotten nothing done while getting a lot done all at the same time. So it is obviously dark outside now. It's dark outside now. <laughs> so we're gonna work on the inside of the house and what are we gonna do? Uh, I'm hopefully gonna finish taping the night. Finish taping the ceiling. All he has is the ceiling. I did the rest of the house as y'all saw earlier. So I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of what I did. And then while he does the rest of the ceiling, I'm going to wet sand because now that we have the first layer done, once we wet sand, we'll be able to see what needs the second layer and what can get by, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I started wet sand a little bit. It turned out pretty good, so. Cool, the areas that I did? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, all right, let's do it. So I did this corner and I feel like it came out so good. I'm very happy with it. And then he's going to work on all of the ceiling in just a minute. And pretty much everything's done. We just really had the window seals. Also, hello, I'm filming on my phone. I think the window seals came out really, really good. They just need to be wet sanded a little bit, but, but I think they came out so good. Compared to the first time that I tried, oh my goodness. Especially this one. I know we have some areas that need to be sanded, but I feel like it came out really good. I started working a little bit over here and Cody did a majority of that wall. Basically all that needs to be done is the drywall on each side of the doorway and then that'll be done. So we really don't have a lot. It's just a matter of doing it and drywall, I'll have to say, is not very fun. And this is probably one of the worst things we've had to do. I hate drywall. Yeah. I hate it. <laughs> I know. It's really awful. It's a huge learning curve. This thing right here, though, has probably saved the day. Mud goes on the tape so perfectly and evenly and has really helped in terms of, like, what would you say? Uh, I haven't seen a single air bubble since we started using the tool, so... Definitely a lot easier, faster.
tell you what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city like Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty I wanna make 